Last night, we survived the heat wave. It wasn't too crazy. We got a fan going, so it was good. We slept with Scooper because it was really hot in his room. But um, like I said last night, we discovered that there's something wrong with our um, air conditioner. I mean, we discovered a few days ago, but we really diagnosed it yesterday and found out that it, the capacitor was the problem. So you can see here, this is the Herm, and this is the Common, and this is the fan. So we're gonna, we're gonna see this, test it and see um, if it's 80, it should be 80. And you turn this thing to this right here, which by the way, looks like Brian's Casey signal right there, his little branding. So um, it should be 80. So let's see the Herm and the Common. And right now that 12, so as we suspected, it is bad. So I went to go get a capacitor this morning, this one right here, and it's 80. So hopefully it'll be 80. Let's test it. It is the Herm and the Common. Uh-uh, 79.3. Is that gonna be a problem? No, it's within 5%, it's good. Let's go test it out. This should be a five, which is a 4.6. Man, jip it us. Ripping you off of some ferrets. I know. All right. All right. It's really hot upstairs right now. We're just gonna start climbing because right now it's like 9 a.m. So we're gonna go, go ahead and put this in and uh, hopefully it works. So we can get moving on this house. It's a hot mess, look at that. Hot mess. Woo. Okay, so um, very important is to check that this electrical is off. So we want to make sure that everything's safe. We do not want to get shocked and die. So we're going to turn this off and then follow the whip. And then you would check in this area. <clears throat> Open it up, check it. Make sure that it's completely off. So we're checking this. Make sure it doesn't beep. If it beeps, then it's on. And you want to turn it off. So right now it's off. No beeping. And then here it is. I'm going to connect this to these little wires in here, so. Ah! Come on in. So, these two would go into this one right here, the common, and then this one would, here, would go into the herm. So let's connect the dots. Here we go. Shove it in. Two of, on one side. Let's just put them side by side. Like that. And this one on this side. Just so it's not complicated. And just um, I guess it goes in here, huh? There you go. Looking good, secured, and um, uh, let's check the air. We secured this, screwed it in, make sure that it's um, enclosed in here, and now we can turn on the bridge box safe to turn on and then from there on we can turn on the fan with the phone okay so after I turn the breaker box I'm gonna test and see if the power is on you hear that beep that means it's on so now we can turn on the fan upstairs right now 77 degrees so kids are dying up there and um, I feel really bad for them so I'm gonna turn it on to cool and then once the fan turns on it'll be like and then has to be like so there it is so if we're feeling hot heat that means it's working if we're feeling cold heat then it's not working i'm feeling the hot heat here okay so i set it to 71 <laughs> um just to cool up the area but normally we have it around like 74 ish yeah so hot heat there you go. Before, it was blowing like cold air, so that's how we know it was working. Um, but the fan obviously was still moving, so that's working. And we discovered that it was the capacitor. So now that it's fixed, you can feel the air getting really, really hot, so we know it's working. Earlier it was blowing cold air, so, or yesterday. So on both ends should be hot, hot um, air. How come we don't have, um, I swear this boy. What happened, honey? You used to be so independent. Why so needy now? 
You guys just flipped on me. Huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> Hi. Hi, Rain. Hi, Sky. <laughs> okay, Gong. Oh my goodness. Little. Look at these boys feeding each other. It's so cute. I just missed it, but super cute. I swear, this guy's trying to lounge like mama. <laughs> He's been trying to copy me. Just chilling. This guy over here dancing. Hi. Air conditioner is working just fine. It's like an ice box here. The boys' mood is much better too. They're not as grumpy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you crazy boy. They're just lounging around with mama. Here we go. Picasso at it again. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> You need to get back to your real work, okay? The one that actually makes money. Stop wasting time. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. Cooper's back home. He's playing with his brothers. They're running around like crazy. Oh wow. I swear it's been a few days. What's going on? Why are we so needy? Hmm? What's up? Just, just chilling right behind Mama. I honestly didn't even notice him. <laughs> I felt something behind me, and then I turned around and saw him just lounging here. Can we get a smile at least? Hmm. Oh, thank you. It's almost bedtime, though. Don't freak out now. So, Picasso, Picasso is taking a break. His, uh, his assistant slash the real mastermind stepping in for a moment, feathering it so it'll blend out and then also create a texture so it'll look like it matches the existing walls. You just have to Give the wall massage basically. They'll get all up here because remember when it wasn't a straight cut, it was like a jagged edge, so we have to make sure that's nice and uh, secure. Hopefully, it won't break on us in the future. If not, we do this again because we're close. How's it going? It's going. There she is. Um, we have to wait for it to dry. So usually stucco takes about a month or so to dry. You gotta keep it moist every now and then. Come back and like splash it with water so it could just aerate properly and like get stronger. But we use the rapid one. So it dries in what, three hours? Yeah. And then you can paint it. Well, we put a few coats. Yeah. Supposed to do one, but we did a few coats, so yeah. So it's kind of like doing the the scratch guard, the brown coat, and the finishing. <laughs> but instead of waiting for a whole month, it's uh, all in one day. Is it stronger though? I'm gonna say no, but <laughs> it's good enough. You don't need gold plate everything. This will last as long as it will. I feel like um, it'll be okay because it's not really underneath like a lot of bad weather. It's covered. So maybe not too much damage from weather. Yeah. Just hoping. So yeah. And I, I uh, put a bunch of reef mesh. I think it's stronger than the others, to be honest. <laughs> you just no, said no. 
Well, well in the normal process, if you did a normal process where you like hydrate it and all that, take a month, it'll it'll be stronger. But the rest yeah. of the house, they didn't even have um plywood. Uh, plywood behind it. Yeah. So it's just between studs. And uh, and we put a lot of mesh mm-hmm. or metal that. I think it's stronger. Let's hope so. Yeah. Knock on wood. Don't break on us. Hey, tomorrow's good for paint and then electrical up there. Two wires sticking out. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, we... Throw it out. And then um, work. boxes. Yeah. And then we work on the inside tomorrow. Wonderful. Trimming too. Trimming takes forever. Finishing touches. There she is. Ready for paint tomorrow. Is it perfect? Better than the original. <laughs> okay.